first of all, there are 19 um, exceptions to our Freedom of Information Act under our current law, 19 exceptions. And we created this open meetings, or this uh, open government Freedom of Information Act for the purpose of allowing the people of West Virginia to know what is going on in their government. And we have now, in a sense, I believe, have a bill that, where the tail wags the dog, and most of the provisions of this, this, this legislation or this, this code section, current existing law, relate to exceptions that do not allow people to get access to these records and to have open access to government in West Virginia. And so I think that there is one of these in particular that I find particularly troubling. And that is a general exception that says internal memorandum and correspondence. That somehow, simply because it's an internal memorandum or it's correspondence, that it's not open, it's not subject to the FOIA request. And I think that is very subject to abuse. And I think that there is almost a default that when records are requested, that if they fall within those categories, no matter what they are, that, that access will be denied. And that's just wrong. And it's not what I believe is the purpose of this statute, this FOIA statute. So what I would suggest and what I'm proposing in the amendment first is that as to that one exception, internal memorandum correspondence, that that only apply if it also meets one of the other exceptions. If it's a letter or memorandum that relates to the other exceptions that are in this, which include such things as personal records, for example. If, you, if a person has to file their medical records with an agency for, for benefits or something, no, those shouldn't be public records. Those are, there's a legitimate reason that those would be uh, you know, not subject to FOIA. If there are blueprints to buildings that someone who might want to do harm uh, to our state government or, or a terrorist might want to receive, those shouldn't be. And so we have certain exceptions like those. Those are a couple of examples that I think are legitimate exceptions. But it is not a legitimate exception to say that everything that is a letter or a memorandum shouldn't be subject to FOIA. And so this first amendment, portion of the amendment says that if, they, if they're in another, if they fall within another exception in their letter or memorandum, that they would, fall, they would be exempt. But if they don't, then they're not exempt. 